we saw vaping gain in popularity over the years. How has that changed since regulations went into effect in 2019? 22 News reporter Kate Wilkinson is live in Chicopee tonight with where trends stand right now, Kate. One in four young people use e-cigarettes. That's according to the FDA, a report that they put out last year. And it shows that this is still a problem. We were seeing a spike for the first few years. We were really concerned about that. And we've certainly seen um, some declines since flavors have been banned. Alana Gerjoy with Greenfield Safe Schools, Safe Streets Coalition said vaping remains a concern when it comes to teens. As local trends show, many are still using e-cigarettes. Gerjoy said many start as a way to de-stress. However, it actually has the opposite effect. And according to Dr. Matthew Sadoff of Bay State Medical Center, vape pens are more dangerous than cigarettes. It's poisonous and that very often kids get so addicted to these vaping pens that they have to wake up several times a night uh, just to vape. Here at the Munson Fire Department, they've actually had to respond to calls because of vaping. They're coming up with these respiratory conditions. Um, maybe it's just shortness of breath, some chest pain, difficulty breathing. We're more aware of it now and we know the questions to ask to kind of get to the root of the problem, but it's definitely a, a more prevalent problem that we're seeing. And if you would like to quit vaping, we'll have resources on our website, wwlp.com. We're giving you live in Chicopee, Kate Wilkinson, 22 News.